why did you decide that you wanted to be an animator or make cartoons? Like what, what led you in that direction? Um, I mean, I, I've sort of always wanted to do it. I, I mean, I remember my, my family's like a Disney family. We would go to Disney world when we, when I was a kid, um, okay. a bunch I mean, we'd go every, probably every, every other year or so. Wow. Brag. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> we were doing okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so we, but we would, we would go a lot. And back then uh, at MGM studios, they had a tour that you would take through the, through the animation studio and they, they had like these huge windows and you'd look into the studio and watch the animators working on their next feature. Mm. So you'd go in and, 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 you know, we, we saw people working on the Lion King and Damn. or like uh, Aladdin and stuff like that. And, and I'm look, I'm looking at these guys and they've got like action figures on their desks and they're drawing cartoons. And I was like, they're getting paid to be here at Disney world. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I was like, I got it. That, that's like all I ever wanted to do. And I, um, my grandfather was an architect. Um, and so we just always had drafting tools around, um, and I had like a big metal or a big wooden plank that I would lay on the floor in my bedroom and, and just lay down and, and draw all the time and read comics. And um, so, yeah, I just always wanted to do it. My dad uh, is an accountant. So like the exact opposite. I was going to say. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't, but, but he was always super supportive and, and, you know, we'd be watching like we'd be watching sports or whatever, and and he would he like some animated graphic would flash up on the screen, and he'd be like, "You could do that. That could be your job." <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and it was it was really great. And so, uh, at one point, he had a client. Um, he did he did like payroll for a company called Star Tunes Animation oh. in in the south suburbs of Chicago and they did Animaniacs and Tiny Toons and Freakazoid and okay. all these all these cartoons and so when I was in high school um he he basically like asked asked them if they needed an intern and I and so I really started going there after school when I was in high school and just did whatever they needed me to do and most of the time it was just like photocopying storyboards and stuff but every once in a while they'd have me like you know clean line a, a background or something like that and oh wow and i was like this is great this is like uh i'm i'm you made it right <laughs> yeah so so then i talked to the guy who ran that studio john mcclanahan and he said he was like well if you're really serious about animation there are three schools like three schools that are like the best option for you and there's sheridan college in Toronto. There's Cal Arts in, in uh, Northern California. And then there's Vancouver Film School. Hmm. And I didn't get into the first two, and <laughs> but I got into Vancouver and, and, um, and I went and I was like, great, this is great. I'm going to graduate from Vancouver Film School and move back and work at Star Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> and then in that year that I was in animation school, Warner Brothers Animation shut down its entire department. <laughs> oh, no. And, and Star Tunes closed. Aww. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's not the plan anymore. Well, and, and you think they would have had more of a backup business model or, model or like, made more connections yeah, or something. Yeah, they were – I mean, they. it was it was sort of an overnight kind of thing. Like, like Warner Brothers was doing a ton of animation, and yeah. then they just – like everything turned off because if you remember like in the nineties, it was like pinky and the brain and Batman, the animated right. series and all that stuff was, it was huge. Yeah. Truthfully, so, pinky and the brain, I think was the downfall of it when they got their own series. It was kind of like, okay, we get it. It's like a one trick thing. And it's really a, a an actual series based. Sorry. I didn't like right. pinky and the brain as much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it should have been limited to like their little five minute segment on the anime. Exactly. Act, not a whole series. Mm hmm. But yeah, it was so that didn't pan out. Um, those guys have since all gone on to do great things, and they're they're great guys. But they, yeah. uh, um, but yeah, that that was that sort of what was 
what's what that's what led me to animation was was that sort of course of action 